you come here to this 103rd Street Corona Plaza station that's in on the number 7 train, and you just look at, you're gonna see this wave of people coming out, all kind of color, races. Incredible. Beautiful. National Street is the word. Okay, the interpretation is because of all these ethnicities, all these races, all these people here, such big diversity, this is a national area. Well, this is a very diverse neighborhood. As you can see, we have a uh, People from uh, South Asia, you have Indian, Americans, you have Chinese, you have Greeks, Jews, we have Hispanic, Russian, you have Korean. Queens is the uh, most diverse county on the nation. Okay. <laughs> they have a nickname for me, they call me the mayor of Corona. <laughs> because they look for me everywhere, they stop me, at least I have this problem, any kind of problem. Salam alaikum. How are you, my friend? You? Good? Good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. Thank you. You have a, a mass, you have a Jehovah Witness, and then you have a church here. Me mau akwaba, ba National Street. I welcome you to National Street. <laughs> oh my dear. As um, Jehovah's Witnesses, we want to reach each and every person by every available means. And the Bible says that uh, we have to preach and teach. And so there are, we have found out that there are a lot of Ghanaians who speak our language. And therefore, we want to come together and be able to use the language to reach them. Originally, I'm from Ghana, West Africa, but I am a dual citizen. <laughs> so I'm American and I'm African too. <laughs> home is home, but I was very curious about this country. During my school time, I learned a lot about America. And so I wanted to know what type of country is America? He's sleeping. <laughs> The love we have for each other will identify us. So no matter where you go, Jehovah's Witnesses welcome you so friendly. <laughs> One thing I love about this country, if you can do hard work, nobody stops you. And everybody wants to come here because they think it's easy. But if you come here and you know how hard it is to get maybe $200, then you appreciate it. Como está? Muy bien, muy bien. This is one of the struggling, struggling immigrants. Uh, you know, he's been to the ups and downs, the economic situation. But well, he's hanging on. 
you know, sometimes we speak together and we say that we'd rather work for somebody else than have a business or something because sometimes it's so bad that... <laughs> we will survive. We will survive. Basically, everybody comes see the outside showcase and they say, see the hookah, they come in and ask for it. Like how it works, uh, what it do. You know, they really have this curiosity of what's the hookah. Uh, hookah is a Turkish tradition. And when Lebanon was under the Turkish control, they came upon and bring it with them. It's a really like growing up kind of thing over here in this culture. They they have it in like like the clubs and the bars. They go and smoke, and after they try, they like it. Basically, they come to me and they just buy it from here. <laughs> what was it? You're gonna have to start multiplying. Put it over here. A squared times B squared. <laughs> I was born uh, in Le actually I was born uh, in Lebanon and then I came over here and then I went back to Lebanon. He's going to school for seven weeks. You yeah, work with different people. Different you can live with different people from different backgrounds and diff different cultures. So you really get to know a lot more than what you think you you know. Okay. I think now I feel more like in American culture. I still have the background, the traditions, and I will carry it on, but still I'll try uh, maybe to evolve it to go with the American culture. My friends is really diverse, I tell you the truth. I have Albanian, Cubans, especially Arabs because I speak the language. Dominicans, Egyptian, Moroccans, I think Lebanese as well. Pakistani, as well as uh, some Russians too. So it really, can, you know, comes from different countries and different cultures. Right. This is a. A good friend, he sells here the flowers. Dame una florecita para olerla, ellos quieren. Look how beautiful these flowers are. Eh? Excellent. Eh? Wouldn't your girlfriend, your wife, be happy with these flowers? Eh? I uh, imagine Mother's Day, everybody's buying, you know. I've been here and uh, we get our flowers from here. Gracias, hermano. Yo me le cuide. This country is based on immigration. It's a very interesting situation in the United States where food is different, different culture. Some words are different. You know, they say, oh, this is America, speak the language. Fine, yes, you know, I'm proud to speak two languages. I wish I could speak seven, because that is diversity, that is the culture. This uh, temple is about 11 years old, and uh, I started here from the day one. Our grandmaster teaching us, uh, our heart has to be opened up for everyone, not only to Chinese, it should be to every, everybody, regardless you know, what nationality is. Everybody has a different story. My story is a little bit different, because uh, I went to Africa first. And then Africa, they have a, a civil war. Then the United Nations asked me where I want to go. So I said, I, said, I, I want to come to North America. I think I'm just still very Chinese. I don't eat hamburgers. I don't eat hot dogs. And uh, I don't drink coffee. I don't drink uh, Coca-Cola. <laughs> so I'm still very Chinese. When I first come to America, I don't have an uh, English name. 
I went to the beautician school. The teacher never could call my Chinese name. So the teacher got very frustrated. So the teacher said, why don't you get the uh, American name? I said, I don't know anyone. So the teacher said, well, no, you look kind of cute. So Kitty probably suitable you. Do you mind? I said, okay. So Kitty became my name. I come to America in 1966, and uh, people still don't know Chinese too well. They, they think that we're coming from, I don't know, Bavaria place. They ask me stupid questions. They say, do you eat banana pills? Do you have uh, radio? You know, they, they are really, really looking down on Chinese on that time, 1966. Two thousand five was a horrible, horrible year for me. My two children got arrested by police for no reason. Hurt my daughter real badly. Four policemen was on her back and she's only five feet two tall. I have to watch her every day. Once you go through all the pain, you will understand the life much better than other people, and your heart will become much bigger. Ya vemos gente de toda nacionalidad. Uno lo trata todito, todo. Uno pela mexicano, colombiano, paquistán, hindú, la India, peruano, americano, migrante, indocumentado, de todo tipo. Como vino por la cámara, loco, usted que está muy bien. Es que el bolso dejó. Es que el bolso deja. Cuando tú vas a bolso, no deja. No, dominicano, porque. No soy, no soy ciudadano todavía, dominicano. Se hace ciudadano es un apoyo para, para uno, tú ves, porque tiene más, más apoyo del país, tú ves. Tiene más, más. Y también porque eh, abandona su bandera, tú ves. Ese es su país, se siente triste por eso. ¿sí? Porque cuando tú juras por la bandera americana, tú estás defraudando la tuya. ¿sí? Siempre que, que se hace ciudadano nunca olvida su país. Pajarito. Esa es la macosta del de negocio de, de, de aquí, de la ballería. Uno va a Santo Domingo, si lleva una maleta de ropa, se la regala a, a, a los amigos, tú, a, los, a los que no la pueden comprar. La mitad de uno, tú. Ves. Te dicen, regálame ese tenis, te lo, te se lo regalo porque lo compra fácil aquí, tío. Ya me quedaré aquí. <ríe> A través del tiempo, de los años, tú ya quizá uno se retira para su país, tú a descansar ya cuando... <ríe> pero mientras tanto estamos aquí. 
mientras uno pueda trabajar y todo estamos aquí They already installed a public bathroom. And this is the second bathroom in all this city. So we are on the chair. Welcome to Corona Plaza. State of the art health facility or emergency. Ready, yes. Voila, open sesame. Self-cleaning. It's beautiful. Number two in the city. Although I am not going to test it. I was born in Jamshedpur, India. I came here when I was three years old. I got my citizenship when I was 16. Then it was like a really big, big thing for us to become an American citizen. I would say America is my home and I relate to it. It's given me everything. It has given so many opportunities to express myself, not only with the American culture, but also my um, Eastern culture. Religion plays a very vital role in everyday life. It's, um, it's like the base, it's like a foundation, but it's not like overshadowing or overpowering. I have enough free like ground to experiment with the Western cultures and adapt to that too. Like, definitely a good balance. Uh, tonight's ceremony is a every week ritual type thing. It's called Hanuman Chalisa, and it's based on Lord Hanuman. We chant uh, a prayer, and after that we sing an arti, and after that we offer a food, which is known as prashad. We serve food to the community members. It's a good way on a weekly basis for people also to like, meet with each other and talk to each other. Even with like my non-Indian friends, they're very well a part of my life. You know, and I partake in their activities as well, like when Christmas and Thanksgiving roll around and stuff. And we celebrate it at my house too, so really like being an American. I don't think I know any other place where I can go and experience and meet the people I could. In every sense of the word, it really is like land of the free. We have to fight. We have to be consistent where you live and make it better. Home is your castle, so that means this neighborhood is our castle. <laughs> 